Hey, I'm Richard Kavanagh, and I want to share with you a recipe from my book, Love Your Hair, and the recipe is a rockabilly pompadour. So I'm going to tell you what you're going to need to do this hairstyle, um, because there's a few little tricky bits and pieces. You're going to need a tail comb, a Mason Pearson brush, some pins, French pins, bobby pins, some hairspray, and you're going to need some hair padding in the shape of a croissant. But um, if you go and get yourself a little donut like this, I'll show you how to make it into the shape of a croissant. And you'll need a hair tie or some elastic. So if you want to press pause and go and get those bits and pieces and come back and then I'll show you how to do the whole thing step by step, all right? So the first thing that you're going to do is this. You want to make a horseshoe shaped section on the top of the head. Use your tail comb and uh, start at the front hairline roughly in line with the outside corner of your eye, sort of straight up from there, and take a, a parting straight back. Curve that around so that it comes all the way around to the other side at the front of the hairline in a horseshoe shaped. Clip that up out of the way so that it doesn't get in your way while you're working on the next part. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to tie this hair at the bottom into a ponytail. Take your brush, brush the hair all straight back off your face, probably find this easier to do it on yourself than you would doing it on somebody else. Pull it all back to the nape there, nice and tight, and then you can secure that into place with a hair tie. I personally like to use hair elastic because I can get it in a little bit tighter, but you'll find it easier just to use an ordinary hair tie, I would say. At this point, if you wanted to, you could take a little piece of hair from underneath and simply wrap it around and around the base like that and spray it with a little bit of hairspray just on that piece of hair that you wrapped around just to lock it into place. That's a nice way to cover the hairband if you don't want to see the hairband exposed. What I like to do is hit that with a little bit of heat from the hairdryer just to set the hairspray a little bit quicker. Okay, now you're going to undo this hair on the top of the head. And this is, um, this is where you're going to do your rockabilly pompadour. However, before you, before you start working on that, you want to get your hair donut or hair padding and turn it into a croissant. Now what I like to do is just undo the donut. And what happens if you unwind them? You'll find that it's made out of a long, tube of hair padding. So then what you can do with that is simply cut it in half just with a pair of scissors. Make sure you don't want to turn it back into a donut again. Fold it and then you can fold it over at the corners like so and then just roll it and you've got a little croissant shape. So what you're going to do now is you're going to brush all of your hair forward from the back. And I like a slightly asymmetric looking pompadour. I'm a, I, I feel like it makes it a bit more cool and modern than anything too perfect and polished. And you're going to brush that all the way forward so that it's well forward over your face like so. And then you're going to take your little croissant and you're going to stick it in the ends of the hair like so and simply roll it and roll it and roll it up to the hairline like so. Now here's the tricky bit, all right? While you're holding this in place with one hand, you're gonna pull the end of that around and try and hold it in place with a little finger of the other hand. Then swap hands and do the same again. Pull that all the way around so that those two pieces of the ends of the donut are up there. I'm gonna use a long French pin and you're simply gonna Stick that through, catch some hair, bend it back, and push it back on itself just to lock that into place. I'm going to do that again. Take your long French pin, and this time you can do it on the other side. You're going to poke it through the donut, catch some hair, bend it back on itself, and poke it through. Now at this point, that should be fairly firmly locked in. All you're going to do is pop a couple more pins in there just to make sure it's not going anywhere. So I've gone about halfway towards the front there. Now what you're going to do is just insert your thumbs and fingers inside the little tunnel of hair there. And you're going to spread that out around the donut like that. Just spread it out. 
massage it and spread it out. And then you're going to fold that up and over and just pin it into the shape of the donut. I'm going to work with uh, little small French pins now. But you could use bobby pins. It doesn't really matter what you use. It's just a matter of pinning the hair into place. Fold it over and pin it into place. You're going to do the same on the other side. Spin you around like that. So put your thumb inside that tunnel of hair and give it a little massage and spread the hair out. See, I'm just doing that with my fingers, right? Massaging the hair and spreading it out over the donut shape. Now, here's where you get to personalize it. Just pull it around, pull it slightly forward. Pull a few little loose bits out. I quite like it when you've got a little bit of Johnny Depp action with a piece hanging down over your eyes there. You can use your brush just to brush that up and in, tuck it in there. And then the last thing you're going to do, once you've got that feeling like it's going where you want it, is work with a little bit of hairspray just to lock the whole shape into place. Uh, I'm going to use Forceful 23, which is a really strong hold hairspray. Now, if you don't like these sort of loose editorial feeling veils of hair, of course, you can just smooth those up and spray them with hairspray. I personally like the look of a bit of hair on your face. It's kind of sexy. So three simple steps. Pull the hair into a ponytail at the back comb the hair forward, roll it up with your padding, pin it into place. <laughs>